Okay, so hello internet and welcome back to Pokemon Red on Onyx Plays where no matter the circumstances Onyx slays. I'm your friendly neighborhood game machine Onyx and today, well, after the last two episodes decided it wanted to bomb a little bit on audio, I had to reconfigure my recording software because I'm a dumb and uh... As you can see, we are right back where we left off in the last episode. Where we're still on the SSN and we're going to be dealing with the last few fights on here. And uh, then we're going to go and either grind a little bit or go take on Lieutenant Surge. So, just to show, my only Pokemon I have is Chaos. Which is our amazing Gyarados. With 86 attack, 57 defense, 65 speed, 70 special. And he has Dragon Rage, Tackle, Bite, and Water Gun. Which is fucking awesome. Now we have Volcanus, our Charmeleon. His attack is 63, defense is 58, speed is 6 to 9, and special is 59. And his attacks are Scratch, Slash, Amber, and Leer. And we're about to go and whoop some ass. So, let's get out of there. Now what I'm going to do is simply because we're going to be, you know, dealing with Lieutenant Surge soon. Why not get a little bit, you know, on, uh, you know, Volcanus a little bit. Because we're going to be using him on Lieutenant Surge. So why not give him some training, right? So let me double check my items real quick. Okay, got plenty of heals, 12 pokies. Alright, we're, we're good on items. We're good on items. Alright, do you battle? No. Okay, I think there's a battle over here. There we go. There we go. Check out what I fished up. Is any of them going to be Magikarp? Le Fisherman wants to fight. Fisherman sent out a Goldeen. Yep. Alright, we need to get some leveling in for Volcanus. I know it's water versus fire. I think Volcanus will be able to hold himself. Volcanus got 403 EXP. Volcanus went to level 32. <laughs> Not a bad little boost right there. Fisherman is about to use a tentacle. Well, on exchange Pokemon. No. Fisherman sends out the tentacle. Cool. I'm gonna use Slash. Critical hit on the on the Slash. Tentacle fainted. Volcanus gained 382 EXP. Fisherman is about to use Goldeen. Well, on exchange Pokemon. No. Send out Goldeen. We're going to slash at the goldfish. And there we go. Now to some people that don't know this, yes, Critical Hit has a really high chance of, uh, I mean, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Um, Slash has a really high percentage of Critical Hits. So that's another reason why I really like Slash. And we got 403 EXP. I missed saying that. We defeated the fisherman. I'm all out. I bet you are. Do you fight, sir? Yes, you do. You're a gentleman. Competing against the young keeps me youthful. Okay. That's all I gotta say about that. Okay. The gentleman wants to fight. Does he have a Growlithe? No, he has a Pikachu. Okay. Usually, gentlemen tend to have um, Growlithe. This is an interesting, you know, situation here. Slash at it. Oh. Quick attack. Alright. Alright, so... Pikachu fainted. Volcanus gained 403 EXP. Now, another tip about... Um, Using Charmander as your starter is I highly do not recommend that you go against Surge with a Charizard 
because a Charizard has a second um, typing, which is flying. So, uh, I suggest fighting Surge with a Charmeleon first, and then evolving the Charizard later. It, it just saves you a lot of hassle. Trust me, it does. Because Surge can just come out and be like, I'm going to hit you. You're because of the war veteran in me. Um, the gentleman wants to fight. Send out a Growlithe. Alright. See, I told you. Most gentlemen tend to have a Growlithe more. Alright, so we're going to slash at the Growlithe. And I'm going to pop my knuckles. Because that felt good. Critical hit. Growlithe fainted. Well, Canis gained 331 EXP. Should be going up another level real soon, actually. Will I change Pokemon? No. I will not. Okay. So, we we'll slash this. Critical hit. Like I'm really surprised. Uh, Ponyta fainted. I got 553 EXP. Alright. I must salute you. Okay. I never saw you at the party. Not the party type. Alright, Lass wants to fight. Lass sent out Rattata. Alright. Hmm, let's just use Scratch on him. I'm not going to waste it on him. Alright. Alright. There we go. You got 219 EXP. Pikachu. Will I change Pokemon? No. I might scratch this one too. It's alright. Volcanus can take it. He's a bad boy. He can take almost anything. Yeah. Okay, Volcanus gained 315 EXP. Alright. Take it easy. Like, God. What we got here? A rare candy. Perfecto, Mizzy Me. Alright. Got anything in here? Nope. It's two people that just want to stand around. Alright. You fight? No, you don't. Alright. Rival time. Bonjour, Onyx. Imagine seeing you here. Onyx, were you really invited? So, how's your Pokedex coming? I already caught 40 kinds, pal. Different kinds are everywhere. Crawl around in grassy areas. Alright, Bink Pool. It's time to go. Bink wants to fight. Alright. Sent out Pidgeotto. Nice sent out a Volcanus. Alright, so we're going to use Slash on Pidgeotto. Knocked it out. Get back. Pidgeotto fainted. Volcanus gained 459 EXP. And I told you that he was going to be going off level soon. <laughs> Alright. Bink's about to use Raticate. Will I change Pokemon? No. Ah. Alright. Slash at that fucker. Raticate. Critical hit. Get back. Volcanus gained 397 EXP. Bink's about to use Kadabra. All on exchange Pokemon. No. Kadabra. <laughs> I was going to slash at the motherfucker. Slash at him. Yeah. Kadabra. Fainted. Volcanus gained 558 EXP from Kadabra. 
Bink is about to use Wart Turtle. Well, on exchange Pokemon. In this particular situation, sure. Water versus water. Let's go, homeboy. Alright, bite that motherfucker. Bite the turtle. Critical hit on the turtle. Just because I, I could have kept Charmeleon in the fight. But I wanted Chaos to get at least a little bit on him, you know? I, 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 I'm a nice guy. I guess. Huh. At least you're raising your Pokemon. Go get yourself another cup of iced coffee, motherfucker. It'll make you feel a whole lot better. Um, Onyx gained 1,300 Poke Dollars. I heard there was a Cut Master on board. But he was just seasick, old man. But Cut itself is really useful. You should go see him. Smell you later. Yep. We dealt with that. It's the seasick captain. Gotta look inside the trash can. Yuck! I shouldn't have looked. I can't unsee what I've seen! Arr! I'm the new captain now. I am the new captain now. Ha 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 ha! Let's go bomb the bad people! Okay, let's go. I feel hideous. Seasick. Onyx rubbed the captain's back. I'm sorry. Woo, thank you. I feel much better. You want to see my cut technique? I could show you if I wasn't ill. I know. You can have this. Teach it to your Pokemon. And you can see it cut anytime. Onyx got cut. Alright. Now. Let's see if there's any additional battles that we can do on here before we leave the SSN for good. It's always good to double check. So let's go this way. Usually there's a couple on the bridge. Yep. Ahoy there! Are you seasick? Nah. Taylor wants to fight. Send out a Machop. Alright. Volcanus, it's time to slash at this muscle master. There goes Machop. Alrighty then. Volcanus gained 319 EXP. Perfect. Sailor is about to use Tentacle. Well, Onyx changed Pokemon. No. Onyx is going to slash at the Tentacle. This freaking jellyfish tentacle looking motherfucker. Tentacle Sama! Critical hit on Tentacle Sama! Fainted. I got 382 EXP from that. Onyx defeated the Sailor. I think there's one more battle on the bridge. Don't quote me. Yeah, there we go. Hey, matey. Let's do a little jig. I like to dance. Yeah, let's, let's jig. Let's just do the jig. Alright. Sailor wants to fight. Sailor sent out a matcha. Go, Volcanus! Alright. We're gonna slash at Volcanus. Here we go. Critical hit on that. Alright. Got 339 EXP. Cool beans. Sailor is about to use Shelter. Will I change Pokemon? No. Alright. Slash at the Shelter. There we go. Shoulder fainted. Got 373 XP. Oh, yeah. You're impressive. I know. 
Do you battle? No, you don't. That's the last battle. Okay. Alright, so if I'm not mistaken, that should be the last battle on the boat. So it's time for us to leave and watch the SSN depart. Which is very sad. It's very, very sad indeed. But it's okay. Things happen. Goodbye, SSN. <laughs> I always like seeing that animation of the SSN just leaving. It's nice. It's very nice. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. All right. So now... I want to go to the Pokemart for a little bit. Let's see what they got at the Pokemart. Bye. Don't mind if I do. Uh, let's buy tons of Pokeballs. I'd say about 25 will do. Alright. Because real soon we're going to be getting the next member on our team. But it will require me to find a specific Pokemon to do it. A very specific Pokemon. But I need to check my Pokedex for something, though. I need to see location of a certain Pokemon. I need to see location for Abra. Alright, so Abra... Is over there the cerulean going up okay all right I can deal with that all right so next we're going to heal our Pokemon and if you're thinking Abra is going to be the next Pokemon you're wrong I'm gonna be using Abra for a specific little duty and uh, to do that it will require me to have an Abra. Some people might actually know what I'm going to do. But I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything about it. You know? I'm not saying a damn thing. All right, so now we need to go back to Cerulean. Which is not going to be that hard to do. All right. And when it comes to trying to catch Avra in Gen 1... It's a bit of a luck of the draw on um, whether or not he's going to stay in the Pokeball or if he's going to jump out of the Pokeball. But, uh, I'm not going to stop until I get an Abra in the party so I can use him. Excuse me, pardon me. Alright, so I need to be careful. I am going to save my game right here just in case. So, let's go ahead and try and get ourselves an Abra. Don't even mind that trainer right there. Oddish. We're not going to battle anything here. Alright, so let's see. Still getting Oddish. It's fine. Do, 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 Weedle. No, thank you. Alright, let's see. Abra. There we go. Oh, boy. Alright. I will risk using my Great Ball. 
to catch him. Got him, yes. All right, so we have an Abra. Now I can do my little trick I wanna do. I think I may have just uh, spoiled too much already. Uh, we're not going to nickname Abra. Okay, so... Let's see. All right, saving our game. Now for the fun to begin. Oh boy. All right. Come on. There we go. Teleport. Warp to the last Pokemon Center. Yes. Oh no, I fucked up. Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. Oh, I fucked up bad. I fucked up bad. Oh god, I hope I can still do it though. I don't even know. I don't even know. Oh, I fucked that up so bad. I forgot that that was the last Pokemon Center that I healed from. <laughs> oh man, okay. There's only one way to know if it's still in effect though. There's only one way to know. Yeah, it's still in effect. Because when you try to talk to people, they don't talk back. Alright. Okay. I might still be able to do this. <laughs> oh god, I'm such a dumb. Okay, I need to find a specific trainer. Where is he? I know I didn't battle him yet. Uh, there's a specific trainer that I know of. Hold on. It's you. It's you. Dad took dad. Blah, blah, blah. Dad took me to a great party on the SSN at Vermilion City. I think this is the right trainer. Oh no. Yep, right trainer. Good. All right. <laughs> so. Oh boy, this is gonna be interesting for you guys. Alright. Because aside from that little location issue that I did there, if I'm doing this right, our next party member will be popping up real soon. But he's probably going to pop up outside of Vermilion City. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is going to be really funny. I've never done it like this before, but if this works, if this works, I'll know that there's no um, distance with this little thing I'm doing. Yes, this is a glitch, but it's to get one of my favorite Pokemon in any Pokemon game. So, it should happen right over here. Right? Or did I really fuck it up? No, wait, no, wait. I gotta go back to the actual Nugget Bridge location. I gotta go back to the actual Nugget Bridge location. Okay. Because that's probably where it's gonna happen. Because if, if I fucked it up with the distance situation, I can always go back to my original save that I did. It's fine. There's a reason why I saved it right there. Because I had a feeling I was going to probably fuck it up at least once in my life. This is actually the first time I've ever fucked this up. Ever. Since even when I was trying to learn how to do it. Come on. Alright. 
All right, let's pray. There we go. All right. Is everybody ready to see our uh, third member of the party? Let's press the B button. Wild Mew has appeared. Now, the way that this is programmed is either Mew will pop out of the Pokeball the first nudge, or he'll stay in the full time. That's actually how the glitch is programmed. So, this is where all these Pokeballs are going to come in handy. Is uh, we're going to throw Pokeballs until this Mew stays in the ball. Oh, I missed the Pokemon? How does that even happen? Hold on. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's never happened before. I'm learning something new right here, guys. Ooh. Hmm. Would the Dragon Rage take it out, though? I can always redo my save, but will it take it out? Or should I use Tackle? I'm going to risk it, Dragon Rage. Because it has a set thing. Oh, damn it. Fuck. Okay. I need to redo my save. Alright. So, give me a minute here. I'm going to do something funny. Yeah, I'm on a, I'm on a emulator. Y'all are watching me do a hard reset on something. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Things like this happen in playing Pokemon. Okay? It's I'm going to keep that in there, though. I'm going to keep that in there. But now... <laughs> this time I'm going to go to the Pokemon Center in Cerulean and do this the right way. <laughs> oh, man. That was a dumb... Okay. First off, hold on. I want to check my box here. Okay. Uh, what moves does these Pokemon have? Hold on. Okay, Scratch. Why'd you do that? Alright. Sphere. Leech Life won't do shit. What do you have, Ducks? I'll take out ducks for that battle. Just to use him. Excuse me. Alright, this time. <laughs> oh man, this is. I'm a little embarrassed, but at the same time, this is actually making me laugh. Okay. Alright. Alright. This time. We're gonna do this. See, that's just weird. Because every time when I've done it like that, though, it's like... I've, it's, it's never had it to where the Pokeball would miss. That's very, that's very different. It's very weird. I'm very surprised about it. I'm very surprised about it, actually. Okay. Now. We'll save it here. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. But now everybody knows what I'm doing. Y'all, you're, you're allowed at least, like, you know, like one error in something, you know? It's fine, though. It's fine. I'm just having fun with you guys, though. We need to get Lemieux. We need to get Lemieux. Alright. 
But yeah, this is really awkward though that uh, when you try and throw a Pokeball the first time, it says that it misses Pokemon. That's very unusual. That's actually never happened to me before. Hey, at least I was able to experience it with you guys, right? So, let's go ahead and take out this Slowpoke again. Because this is one of a few trainers in the game with um, the number that's used to get a Mew in the decimal for this game. So let's go ahead and take out Slowpoke. Oh, I forgot I only use Scratch. It's okay. Doesn't matter. Alright. The Volcanus goes to 34 automatically. Alright. Alright, now we're going to teleport back to Cerulean this time. Now you can also do this with Fly. Um, it's as long as that you can go back to the original place where you started your battle. That's basically what you gotta do. Like the previous um, place that you went to. Here we go. And there's the little person right there in the top left. I always thought that was weird when I was a kid. Oh, why'd I do that? Alright. Let's go. Let's try this again. Now I want to double check to see if 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 it's if it's always like that. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, missed the Pokemon. Okay, that's fine. All right, switch. Dukes. All right, Mr. Dukes, let's go. All right. Let's do a sand attack on you. Because you're pounding way too much. You're pounding way too much. Hold on. It's alright. I have potions. I can heal them in a little while. I'll heal them actually right here after the sand attack. Alright. Here we go. Covered by 16. Mmm. Your accuracy is good. Alright, let's try and do some type of damage on him. Alright, there we go. Now he missed. Alright, that's perfect. Alright. Gotta get him lower, though. I'd say one more attack should do it. Ooh! Ooh, that, that was perfect. That was perfect. Okay. Pokeball, go! Okay. It's alright. Like I told you, Muse programming is that either it's going to pop out in the first move or it's going to stay for the full three. That's how it's programming actually is. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. One, two, three. Yes! We got a Mew. Woo! All right, new Pokédex data will be added for Mew. Mew, the new species Pokémon, so rare that it is still said to be a mirage by many experts. Only a few people have seen it worldwide. Well, I have, and everybody watching this has seen it. Do you want to nickname Mew? Yes, I do. Now, there's two specific names that I give Mew. One of them was from my first Mew I ever got. His name was Pinky, which I found out when I transferred him to my Pokemon Gold that he was automatically a shiny Mew, which was really weird. Um, I don't know how that happened. It just randomly happened. Um, but I'm going to name him the second name that I gave to my second Mew I ever got, which was Genesis. I named him Genesis. All right, so we have Genesis in our party. So that's awesome. We're going to put Mew back in the box. And uh, we'll be training up Genesis later. 
Because we got to get ourselves ready for a gym battle. It's Bill's PC. I'm going to put Abra back in there. Dukes can actually learn Cut. We're go so we're going to give Cut to Dukes. We're not. I'm not going to put him in as like a permanent party member. I'm going to use him basically as an HM slave for right now. So, Cut. We're going to give Cut to Dukes. Yes. Dukes learned Cut. Alright. Okay. 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 So now, we are going to get ourselves to Vermilion City. And then off screen, I'll basically train up um, Genesis. Have a lot of fun with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're going to have a lot of fun with that Mew. That Mew is going to be fun. Plus, I've hardly ever seen any, like, cas actual casual playthroughs of, you know, Pokemon Red, Blue, or Yellow, where somebody actually does that little glitch to get Mew. So, I might not be the only one that's done this in a casual playthrough, but maybe people will remember that I've done it in a casual playthrough. I don't know. I don't know. But you can actually do that same glitch with other trainers as well. As long as they can walk to you. If the trainers walk to you, then it'll um it'll add to the add to the glitch itself. For some reason I've learned that if you get like, for example, this close to the trainer and they activate their little, you know, emoji on the top of their head, that the glitch will simply just not work. They have to literally be at least a minimum of that far from the trainer. Maximum about that far. That's just something I've learned. So, there's that. Alright, so now we're going to deal with Lieutenant Surge. And then after we're done with Lieutenant Surge, we'll actually call the video. Thank you, your Pokemon are fighting fit. We hope to see you again. Okay. Alright. So. Let's go handle our electrifying man of war and entertainment. <laughs> I made a funny. <laughs> Alright, so. I want to do something though. Vermilion City Pokemon Gym. Leader, Lieutenant Surge. Wayne Trainers. God damn it, Bink! Always beating me places. Alright. So, we're going to basically just play around with Volcanus. This is no place for kids. Okay. I tend to deal with the trainers first before I deal with the uh, little lock puzzle thingy. Yeah. Uh, we'll just scratch this Pikachu. I want to save my slashes for Lieutenant Surge. There we go. Alright. Alright, man. Alright. Scratch the Pikachu. It's all good. Pikachu's down. Alright, we defeated the sailor. Wow, surprised me! Yeah. Still, this guy. I'm a lightweight, but I'm good with electricity. Rocker wants to fight. Sent out a Voltorb. All right, let's go, Volcanus. Got him. Got him. Magnemite. Will I change Pokemon? No.
critical hit on the Magnemite, actually. Alright. Got him. Rocker is about to use Voltorb. We're not going to change Pokemon. Alright. Wait for it. Got him. Yep, he's gone. Alright. Alrighty then. Fried. Alright, we got one more trainer to deal with, which is this guy here. Ugh. Had an itch right there on my arm. All right. Let's go, sir. Let's go, sir. Let's go. Wants to fight. Send out Pikachu. 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 All right. Scratch him. Oh, Serge, I'm coming for you. Mmm. Okay. I believe I got a paralyzed heal in my bag. We'll use it. We'll use it. Alright. Let's see. Yes, I do. Use it. And if people remember, I got the paralyzed heal when I was in Viridian City. Now, to do this little puzzle here, let's try and find the trash can. Only trash here. Hey, there's a switch under it here. Turn it on? Yes. Right here. Yep, there we go. Now, when it comes to getting the electric locks, what I've learned is when you find the first um, um, electric lock, if you turn right beside that actual trash can, not under it, but right beside it, it tends to be right there in terms of a 90% uh, percentage. So that's how I knew how to do this puzzle. You got trash in your trash can, Surge? Nope, only trash here. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Crammed full of Pokemon books. All right, hold on. There we go. Just six HP. Hey, kid! What do you think you're doing here? You won't live long in combat. That's for sure. I tell you, kid, electric Pokemon saved me during the war. They zapped my enemies into paralysis. The same, uh, the same as I'll do to you. Let's wait for the hype to, to start. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. Let's go. Alright. Voltorb. I send out a Charmeleon. With much rage in his eyes. Get him, boy. Down for the count. Alright. Voltorb fainted. Got 463 EXP, everyone. All right, Lieutenant Surge about to send out Pikachu. Will I change Pokemon? No. Lieutenant Surge sent out Pikachu. I slash at the electric mouse. He goes for a quick attack first. But it, he cannot delay the inevitable doom. Yes. Pikachu fainted. Got 315 EXP. Now, for the main attraction. Lieutenant Surge. Is about to use Raichu. Will on exchange Rogamon? No. Mmm. Slash that bitch. Mmm. Yeah. Critical hit, bitch. Get down, motherfucker. Yeah. Fuck your shit. All right. Enemy Raichu has fainted. Volcanus gained six hundred. And 27 EXP points. And Volcanus grew to level 35. Woo! Onyx defeated Lieutenant Surge. 
Whoa! You're the real deal, kid. Fine, then. Take the Thunder Badge. I shall. Thank you. The Thunder Badge cranks up your Pokemon speed. It also lets your Pokemon fly anytime, kid. You're special, kid. Here, take this. Because you wrecked my shit. Onyx received the TM24. Well, it's the TM24's Thunderbolt. Told you. Teach it to an electric Pokemon. I might. I have something special planned for that Thunderbolt. Alright. So let's go ahead and get out of here and go to the Pokemon Center. We'll use ducks to cut down this twee. Alright. Do, 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 do. Okay. All right. So now, though, I'm healing my Pokemon. We're actually going to call the video here, and the next time you see me, uh, Genesis will be up some more levels. And, uh, yeah, I'm mostly just going to be working on Genesis so he can be ready and able to set things up with some Pokemon along the way. And, uh, you never, you never know what's going to happen because, you know, we, we got a cave to go through as well in our next part that we're going to be doing. So, everyone, thank you so much for watching today. If you enjoyed my goofiness and stupidity and... The fact that we got a really great Mew to join our team, click that like button and leave a nice positive comment down below. And let me know if Mew is a favorite Pokemon of yours. If so, why or why not? And until I see everyone in the next video or stream, this was Onyx Plays. Well, no matter the circumstances, Onyx Slays. And I, will, I, am, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I am your friendly neighborhood game machine. And I will see all of you in the next video. So till then, peace out and happy gaming, my friends. Peace out and happy gaming.